somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Gaston to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> Gaston's brilliant at digging. <laughs> He's dug up an old stick. <coughs> Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. <coughs> oh, it's raining. Wand to umbrella. Wow. <laughs> Let's play indoors. Come on, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> dee dee da, dum dee dum dee do. Ah, oh, I love a clean kitchen. Hello, Nanny Clan. <coughs> no, don't let that ladybird into my kitchen. He's making muddy food. Prints everywhere. Get off the floor. <coughs> Not on the table. Shoo, shoo. This is a food preparation area. <coughs> Where's he going now? Maybe he's gone to see Daddy. He likes Daddy. <coughs> Who let this smelly ladybird in the house? <coughs> Holly! Yes, Daddy? Please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. We live in the castle. Gaston lives outside. <coughs> Never mind, Gaston. Let's all go to the great elf tree instead. <laughs> Mrs Elf, that blueberry pie smells delicious. Yes, Mr Elf. The secret is to cook it very slowly over three days. Hello, Mum. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. <laughs> oh, can't he shake himself outside? <laughs> that pie is not for you, Gaston. <laughs> now, Ben, Gaston should live outside. We live inside. OK, Mum. Ah! Where's the pie gone? Gaston's eaten it! We don't know it was Gaston. It could have been someone else. He's the only one with pie on his face! <coughs> Out, Gaston! I never want to see you again. Sorry, Gaston. You'd better go home. Go on, Gaston. Off you go! Holly. Uh, Are you all right, darling? I'm a bit sad. Gaston isn't allowed in our houses anymore. Oh. Gaston! Oh. oh, Gaston is all wet and cold. Oh. Gaston, go and make that racket somewhere else. Poor Gaston. Gaston! 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 Hello, Ben. I can't find Gaston anywhere. Maybe he's in his cave. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? He must have gone off somewhere to be sad. Don't worry. I'll find him. Elves are good at finding ladybirds and I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! 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 Oh, where are we? I don't know. I've never been here before. Oh, it's a door. Speak, friend, and enter. <gasps> a talking door. Hello. Hello. I wonder what's behind it. That's for me to know and you to find out. Ooh, let's get the grown-ups. A 
talking door? Yes, Daddy. It said, speak, friend, and enter. Oh, that will be the old dwarf mine. Dwarf mine? Yes. The dwarves used to dig down into the earth, looking for diamonds and gold and stuff like that. Dig, 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 in our dwarf mine, oh so old. We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. I like diamonds and gold. They're so pretty and sparkly and glittery. Let's take a look at this dwarf mine. What are dwarves like? They're big, bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. Here's the door. Ooh. It's locked. Speak, friend, and enter. What does that mean? It's a riddle. No entry until you solve the riddle. That's silly. I'll just magic it open. Oh, my magic doesn't work on the door. Yes, fairy magic and dwarf magic don't mix. Maybe we should just ask nicely. How are you today, Mr Door? Fine, thank you. Can we come in, please? Speak, friend, and enter. Maybe it means say the word friend. Good idea, Ben. Ahem. <clears throat> Friend. Oh, that was easy. Let's go in. Ben and Holly, you wait outside. Aww. The dwarf mine could be dangerous. Then why are you going in? Uh, well, we're grown-ups. Can we go with you? Uh, why not? If you're with us grown-ups, you'll be safe. As long as the door doesn't shut behind us. Oh. Now what do we do? Wand? Give me light. Maybe we can say friend again to make the door open. Friend. It's a new riddle this time. Oh, all right. What's the new riddle? If a car with a two-litre engine travels up a 15-degree hill at 10 miles an hour, how much fuel will it use if the hill is 100 metres high? Ah. What if we go this way? Lots and lots of tunnels leading for miles. We'd get lost going that way. If only Gaston was here, he could smell his way out. Good idea. Where is Gaston? Yes, where is good old Gaston? You said you never wanted to see him again. And so did you, Dad. Oh, oh. Yes. yes. And now Gaston's off somewhere being sad. Oh. Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> there. All nice and clean again. No, Gaston. Out. Out. What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <gasps> then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. <laughs> Hello? Nanny Plum, thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. Oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <laughs> oh. 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 This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston to the rescue! Thank 
you, Gaston. <laughs> oh, Gaston, you're wonderful. <laughs> oh, good boy, Gaston. So, can Gaston come to the little castle now? Yes. And to our house too? Yes. yes. I'll even make him a pie. <laughs> Gaston, thanks for rescuing us. Our hero. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.